Let me read to you how this chapter ends. Jeremiah the prophet said to Hananiah, Listen, Hananiah, the Lord has not sent you, but the people believe your lies. Therefore, this is what the Lord says, You must die. Your life will end this very year because you have rebelled against the Lord. And two months later, the prophet Hananiah died. Chapter 28 is a powerful chapter giving us a description of discernment. You see, there's two prophets, Jeremiah, Hananiah. Hananiah is prophesying something that sounds good to the people. God's going to deliver you. He's going to rescue you. He's for you. He's not against you. He's going to get you out of your situation. But see, God had already told Jeremiah that the people, they should expect, they should be ready for consequence for their sin. And Jeremiah is given discernment from God, a message from God, that the messenger, Hananiah, was not from him. Even though he was prophesying syrup, something that was sweet, God had said, no, what I'm giving is a little bit more like gravy, not so sweet. But you see, Hananiah was trying to sell his prophecy. Oh, it was sweet to hear, but truly, it was bitter because it was not from God. Now, in our context, in our situation, in the 21st century, how can you and I have an element of discernment when we hear different people speak on behalf of God? Let me share with you a tool that you can use. It's actually the tool in my hand. It's called the 66 Books of the Inspired, Inerrant, Infallible Word of God. See, I firmly believe that the Spirit of God can speak. And yet I also believe that the Spirit of God and the Word of God are never in competition and never in contradiction. So if you sense that someone is speaking on behalf of the Spirit of God, here's your tool, the Word of God. You see, the better you know the Word of God, the better you'll be able to discern the voice of God in your life. So my encouragement, keep hanging with daily in the Word. Keep going through God's Word every single day. Keep gathering with God's people to listen and learn God's Word so that you can love, live, and lead just like Jesus. You see, when you listen and learn and then begin to love and live and lead, then you're no longer lost, where so many people truly are. Taking in content from all these different content producers who may or may not be hearing from God. My encouragement to you, be a discerning disciple. Know the Word of God so that you can filter all the noise that's going to come into your life today. The better you know the Word of God, the better you're able to discern the truth from error, lies from that which the enemy might seek to give, which sounds sweet, but ultimately end up bitter.